My sympathy to the gentleman on the elevator. It's highly probable he must have sustained some tendon injury. Hi, my name is Perry Atancho, and I'm a biomedical engineering student at Georgia Institute of Technology. My short research mentor was Dr. Susan Brooks, and the title of my research project was Regional Changes in Collagen Fiber Diameter Distribution of Mouse Tibial Anterior Tendon Due to Aging. Tendons are tough bands of fibrous connective tissue that connect and transmit forces between muscles and bones to generate movement. Muscles and bones have very different stiffness, so tendon help in transitioning the stiffness between these two tissues, leading to smooth force transmission. Prior research has shown that for young mice, the region of the tendon adjacent to the bone, that is the distal region, has the greatest stiffness, and the region next to the muscle, that is the proximal section, has the least stiffness. However, with age, each re region becomes stiffer and less extensible, and the stiffness of the entire tendon becomes more or less uniform. Changes in stiffness of the tendon with age are believed to account for increased tendon injury among the elderly, and this is the reason I insinuated the gentleman of the elevator must have injured or ruptured some of his tendons. Tendon dysfunction and injuries are major contributors to physical frailty among the elderly, leading to immobility and morbidity. Annually, about 80 billion is spent on treating symptoms and injuries of physical frailty in the United States. Tendons are made up of collagen fibers, and it is believed the fiber diameter and the fiber number density accounts for the stiffness of the tendon. The objective of my research project was to determine how the collagen fiber diameter and fiber number density varies for the distal and the proximal section and how this changes with age. To accomplish this, we observed tendon samples of young and old mice under a transmission electron micro microscope. These are representative images of the collagen fibers. We found there's a difference in collagen fiber diameter and density for the proximal and the distal region of the TA tendons. We also found there's an increase in mean collagen fiber diameter in the proximal region of the tendon, which might explain the increased stiffness with age. Collagen fiber diameter number density also increases with age in the distal region of the tendon. To conclude, collagen fiber number density and diameter might lead to an insight into the stiffening of the tendon with age. This will help in developing methods to slow down the progression and the onset of tendon stiffness with age. Hopefully, more research might eventually lead into the development of tissue constructs to replace ruptured and injured tendons. And this might be very helpful to the gentleman on the elevator. Thank you.